Hey everyone, today's recipe we're making a one pan sausage meal with some veggies. You're gonna love it, it's quick and easy to make. And this was requested by one of my viewers, Wayne Wayne. So Wayne, thank you so much for requesting this. It was easy to make and so delicious. I think you're gonna really love it. I'm Rockin' Robin and I'm gonna show you how to make it and all the details right after this. We're gonna start off today with our chef joke. I have two today, one right now and a little bit later I'll tell you the second one. All right, here we go. What do you call a sausage that can't walk? A sausage roll. <laughs> Let's talk about ingredients. First up is our sausage. I'm using Adele sausage. This is chicken apple. It's fully cooked, ready to go. All we have to do is really just reheat it. And I tell you, Costco has a good deal on that. For our veggies, now here, you know, the sky's the limit. Use what you like. I'm using some bell pepper, organic of course. I like to add some onion in there chopped up zucchini, and I'm using a sweet potato today. Now you can also use a, you know, a regular potato, like a gold potato or a red potato. The thing is, is you wanna remember you gotta chop those things up small because they take longer to cook. And you know, like I said, you can use any vegetables you like. And in fact, because I like asparagus, I'm gonna to toss a little bit of that in. Now for our seasonings and how we're gonna flavor this thing, we're gonna use some tamari sauce. This is a soy sauce substitute, so it doesn't contain any gluten. And then I have my spices here. I have ground coriander, some garlic powder, and some salt. Now I also wanna use, at the end, after we've cooked it, I'm gonna add a little bit of fresh parsley over the top and I'm gonna mix it in, and some fresh lime juice. It really just brightens it up and just gives it a wonderful flavor. So we're gonna start off by chopping up all our vegetables, like this bell pepper here, and we're gonna cut it into one inch size chunks. I have two baking sheets lined with foil right here. You can use parchment paper if you want, but I like the foil better because it sticks. And I'm just gonna to toss the vegetables half and half on each pan. So I'm gonna make two because this recipe goes quickly. And you don't wanna overcrowd your pan. It's better to just you know, have everything spaced out a little bit, not piled on top of each other so that that way it will roast nicely and not just steam. And now we'll chop up our onion. We'll cut it in half and then cut it into one inch size chunks as well. I have my oven preheating to 500 degrees. Now with our zucchini, we'll just cut off the ends and then cut it in half and then cut it into nice sized chunks. Zucchinis tend to cook up quick, so it, you, know, you wanna leave the pieces a little larger. All right, to trim up our asparagus, I'm just gonna snap off the ends. That's gets you to a nice soft spot. Get rid of the, the woody part that's hard to chew. And then for these, I'm just gonna cut them, you know, about like this. Next is our sweet potato. You wanna peel that. And I might not use the whole thing. This is a pretty big potato, so I might only use a part of it. Now for the sweet potato, we wanna cut it up into probably one quarter inch slices and chunks because they take longer to cook. And this way they'll cook up evenly with the other vegetables. So for the sausages, I'm gonna cut them kind of just medium size because like I said, they're already cooked. You just wanna make them nice bite-sized pieces. I'm gonna pre-mix my spices just so that they're easier to spread and distribute. So I'm gonna put a half a teaspoon here of the ground coriander into just a little bowl. It's, mix it up with a little garlic powder and some salt. Give that a little stir to combine and we're ready to add this to our veggies and sausage. Now the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some avocado oil because avocado oil can handle higher temperatures. So since our oven is at 500, we need to use avocado oil. So I'm gonna pour a little bit in here on each tray and we're just gonna mix all of this up with our hands. And you can see we didn't add too many things or too much to our tray because you know everything fits in there nicely, pretty much touches the bottom of the pan. That's the ideal situation, but you don't have to be perfect on that. Just, you know, this is a good amount. 
Next, I'm gonna take the tamari and I'm going to pour, again, I'm not measuring this out, I'm just giving it a little flavor boost here. We don't wanna to put too much, but just sprinkle it around. And then you just kinda of work it in, same way. And then I'm gonna take my mixture of coriander, salt, and garlic powder, and I'm gonna sprinkle it over the top on both of my pans here and work that in. If you hold your hand up higher, it just kind of gently sprinkles out on your food. You don't get clumps in one area, so that makes it better. Okay, so once you get it all mixed in, then just spread everything out as evenly as you can. And we're gonna pop this in the oven. We're gonna check it at 15 minutes and we'll see and we'll go from there. So here's my last chef joke for today. What do you call an expired sausage? A spoiled brat, of course. <laughs> if you've got a, a joke that you want to share with me, go ahead and leave it down in the comments. I've had other people leave me some jokes and they're pretty darn funny and I really do enjoy them. So if you do, I might pick one and feature it in a future video. Okay, I just pulled these out. 15 minutes, that's it. That's all it takes. Things are browning up nicely. That's the way I like it. Now we're going to add just a little bit more flavor. You're going to love this. So I'm going to take a lime and I'm gonna sprinkle just a little bit in here, okay? It's gonna brighten up the flavors and just, it's amazing what it does. So just a little sprinkle dinkle there, all the way around. I'm gonna do this to the other pan as well. It's sitting back there. I just wanna show you this one. And then we're gonna take some of our parsley. You really wanna use Fresh herbs here, it makes all the difference in the world. So just sprinkle that right over the top, like that. Basil's nice too, I love to use basil. And then I'm gonna kinda mix it up a little bit. But I'm just trying to mix it up so that the lime juice gets everywhere. You definitely gotta make two pans worth for sure because you're gonna just devour this. This will serve maybe two people here. Look at this, beautiful colors, vegetables, everything. One pot meal, you can't beat it. Let's take a taste and dine to dig in. A lot of beautiful flavors going on, very fresh. That lime juice really perks it up. I love this. Wayne, you're gonna love this. Do try it. Do you like these one pan dinners that are quick and easy to make and super delicious? Well, I've got another one for you to try. It's my one pan chicken and veggie recipe as well. So it has a little bit of a Mexican flair to it. So you might really enjoy that. So click that button right over there. It'll take you to it and you can check it out. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button for me. Leave me a comment or a joke and don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you next time.